Okay, this is part three of the pine tree and um, edible uses. And if you remember me in the last video, I was making um, pine bark tea, which you see in here. And um, actually, you, the first boiling, when I poured the tea off, you could literally just mix it with berries and you end up with a nice flavor of, of, of food. And it still had a slight bitterness. This is the fourth change of water that I went through. And the reason why I'm showing you this is that the more changes that you go through, the more of the resin is being pulled out. And the more of the resin is being pulled out, the less stickiness and bitterness you're going to taste in your uh, throat. And um, actually on the third bowl, I could literally eat this out of my hand almost like cream of wheat. And that's what I'm going to do with this fourth bowl. I'm going to let it settle pour off the water and I'm going to show you that I'll eat a whole bowl of this stuff and I'll be begging for more and it's easily by making a syrup um, out of fruit and um, just pouring it on top of that and easily um, done. You can do blueberry, um, blackberry syrups, whatever. It doesn't matter. Okay, this is the fourth bowling um, pour off water of the pine bark as you see, that little bit of that was in that coffee bag at um, start of one turned out to be this much stuff. So if you had two bags of that, which actually took no time at all to gather, and uh, and you dried it up and you powdered it and you and you leached it four times, saved the tea um, for drinking, and then you end up with a very edible stuff. Almost has the consistency of cream of wheat. That's why I think of. I took some blueberry syrup, and what you do, you just mix it up, just like that. Hmm. No bitterness in this at all. You can literally eat a lot of this. Extremely healthy for you. Now, different pine trees are going to have different bitterness to it, or resin to it, content. So, normally the white pines are going to be a lot less resin. This is longleaf pine. It didn't have a lot of resin in this one. But, um, um, something like pitch pine is going to hold a lot more resin, so you're going to have to keep boiling and make it a little bit longer. Right here. Mmm. Mmm. That blueberry. Just blueberry juice after boil down until the sugar content makes it in syrup. Absolutely delicious. Mm. Now that'll get you up in the morning, get you going. No trouble whatsoever. You see, I'm not having any trouble eating this. Now those recipes that you see with noodles and stuff, people just aren't cooking them long enough and changing the water out. This is delicious. Hmm. I'm just gonna sit here and eat it. Who do you? This is good. Think of cream of wheat. Hmm. That's exactly what it tastes like. Cream of wheat. I just uploaded this part of the video so people can see the um, cream of wheat kind of stuff. Um, I'll redo this video and reboot it with the sap and the cones and um, stuff like that and the roots. Um, I'll be back and I hope you're enjoying this and try that bark recipe. I guarantee you, you will see tree bark in a whole different light. Everybody I've ever listened to has never been able to prove to me how to eat bark until I had to find out years and years and years ago what to really do with it. And uh, Now I understand why they call it the Anirondacks. Um, I could easily eat that every day.